name is Marcelo, and today I'm going to be doing some meatloaf, and it's actually my first time. So it's kind of embarrassing, you know, it's going to be kind of weird, but it's going to be my first time, and my mom's the one who's actually, you know, filming this, so it's going to be very cool. So we're at that, what's special about this meatloaf, it's going to be turkey, so this is the turkey meatloaf. So what's special Actually, instead of turkey, we're going to be using chicken. So first off, you first you ask if you guys have mushroom. You guys take the mushroom and you get it out of your refrigerator and you wash it, which I already did, and you stick it in your slicer. So in the machine. And so you can start. What we're going to do is we're going to chop the onions and then we're going to crack the eggs and put them in a slicer. So now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up, turn it on probably. So now, now that we're done, we're going to next take the eggs, crack them. Well, let me see here. Okay, so that wasn't the best egg crack ever, but you know, it'll work. So now we'll shove it in. And there we go. We have the onions and the garlic. So now that we've chopped the mushrooms, now we're done chopping the eggs and the onion. Now we're going to take the turkey, aka our chicken, and we're going to put them in the chopper. So, take it. Now, always make sure that your hands are washed. Always good to wash your hands. So now I'm going to wash my hands. And now I'm going to put on the lid. And we're going to start chopping. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, since we already chopped our uh, mushrooms, and we got a little bit of our milk, which could be any type of milk that you want. It could be soy milk, any type of milk, even the ones they can buy at Walmart. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pour the milk. And we're going to take our mushroom, which I'm actually going to need a spoon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just scrape it off. I just don't want any mushroom falling out, which just did. It'd be easier if I went like this. Now that we got our mushrooms in, we're going to go and start our chop. There we go, and put on the lid, and... Okay guys, so next, what we're going to do is, we're going to take the meatloaf that we have already in here, you can see pretty much what it is. So if you come in closer, if you come in closer, you can see that it looks kind of disgusting, but it's going to be very, very good. I can tell you that. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of lemon, uh, lime actually, while the machine is running and we're going to pour it in some, uh, a little bit. So then we're going to take a little bit of hot sauce, you can see there, a little bit of hot sauce, just to add a little bit of spice to it because I hate it when it comes out with that very watery type taste. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start off the machine. Okay guys, 
Okay, so next, what we're going to do is, of course, the meatloaf is never going to come off by itself. So it needs a little bit of slippery surface. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a little bit of butter flavored spray, and we're going to take that butter flavored spray, and we're going to spray it a little bit just on the sides, on the back, on the floor of it, and just to give it that slippery seal. So when we take it out. So now we take it, we put it aside, and next what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of Oregon. And it's pretty, pretty decent and it's going to get a nice tender taste when you, when you eat it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it, um, we're going to first start off and we're going to put a little bit of it inside the machine. Wait. There. Okay, now that we're done, we're going to take it and we're going to slightly just, you know, take off the, the thing, we're going to put it and we're going to take the uh, thing. What we're going to do is, of course, we're going to have to take the meatloaf, we're going to take our scraper, and we're going to just scrape the edges off of the meatloaf. Make sure you have a nice spread because sometimes I see some people's meatloafs and they look all bleh and I don't like that. So I like a nice, you know, fluffy meatloaf. So then we scrape it off and then we take it off. So now that we're done and we have our meatloaf, we're going to just take the meatloaf stick it in the oven you can check you can guys check that out how beautiful it looks so now we are ready to cook it so finally we're done so what we do next we go to where we have bake which is already at 350 degrees make sure it's at 350 degrees then you come at cooking time and you put it at 30 minutes make sure it's at 30 minutes so then we go and start and you have your baking hey i didn't see you guys there okay so i just heard the buzzer so i don't know if it's ready i'm going to first check it let me check it wow it's looking so good you guys are going to really like it so good. You can see it bubbling on the bottom. It's so, so good. Oh, there you guys. Okay. So I just got it out and it looks very, very good. It actually looks like one of the, you know, when you go to a party or you find like really good stuff. Well, this is one of those. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take it and we're going to put it so on our now plate. I'm going to start cutting it. I slice the piece. You can actually, if you can, you can probably see the steam. Ooh, I love the steam. Now I'm going to take that small piece and I'm going to put it on the plate. And you can see it's a nutritious type of food, so it's really good. And you can sometimes put some ketchup, if you like, on top of it or you can not so it's that type of stuff so now I'm going to take my beautiful assistant the fork and now it's time for the truth here we go mmm you know that feel that you feel in your in your mouth that nice juicy taste Mmm, it felt so good. Okay, guys. So now that we're finally done with the video, you can check this video at YouTube, and you guys can see the rest of the videos, and, well, see if you guys can cook this. And I'll be impressed if I see your videos on YouTube.